guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing well welcome welcome please like or share this video so this video is based on my conviction in regards to makeup so for the longest time when i was quite young when i was 19 20 which was in 2014 i was 19 years in 2014 i struggled with a low self-esteem and I got so wrapped up in wanting to look good, wanting to beat my face, wanting to look approachable, wanting to fit in with my age mates, that makeup became an idol. It got really bad to the extent that I wasn't able to leave the house without wearing makeup. I wasn't able to even take a Snapchat video without makeup. I wore excessive makeup between 2014 until around 2016. So I was convicted towards the end of 2016 and God clearly spoke to me and when I say God spoke to me I'm not talking about an audible voice some people are spoken to by God via an audible voice for example Moses in the Bible but for me it was more of an inner conviction I just didn't feel myself when I wore makeup I felt like I was putting on a mask I felt like I was a clown you know basically like a clown when someone is a clown they just paint their face and then they put on a show and after that they rinse off their face and they're back to their usual self so i felt like that and it was burdening my spirit my makeup addiction got really bad and i used to be late for church i wasn't able to just walk out of the house and go to church i'll be late to church because of makeup i wanted to look beautiful i wanted to look flawless i couldn't even go to the shops without putting on makeup i couldn't go to college without putting on makeup so after the lord spoke to me and he just told me that, you know what, makeup is an idol in your life. It's a stumbling block. I just reflected and I thought, oh my goodness. To date, I still use makeup, but then I use it occasionally. So for example, in a whole year, I can wear makeup once in a whole year. I thank God that I now have the confidence to move around with my bare face. I now have the confidence to just show who I am and accept who I am. And it wasn't an easy journey. It was a long walk that the Holy Spirit took me on and I'm thankful I'm thankful if anyone struggles with idols you know how difficult it can be to step away from those idols In the beginning I just didn't start off by just leaving makeup completely so I started off by just wearing makeup I just on a Sunday then gradually I reached that point where I'm like you know what I don't need to wear makeup you know who's for me is for me I felt led to share this video because I know when I started struggling with like a low self-esteem and struggling with how I looked it was around the age of 19 I'm hoping that this video can resonate with some young girls or people who are my age and who are really struggling with the idea of makeup and the construct of what beauty is. We live in a society that tells us what being beautiful is. So we've got these social constructs of what beauty is and it can be a burden to people and to young girls. I just wanted to let you know that you are beautiful the way you are. You don't have to change yourself for anyone and you don't have to wear a mask i'm not saying makeup is a bad thing this video is not to convict people from wearing makeup wear makeup but then check your heart and ask yourself why am i wearing this makeup if it's just to look nice you know for a function then i think that's okay but if your self-esteem is rooted in makeup rooted in foundation then that means that it's a stumbling block we live in a world where if we scroll on social media, all these celebrities are just showing us what beauty is. People are looking on fleek. People's foundation is flawless. People have their lashes done, their eyebrows done. People are looking really beautiful. And I know it can be hard if you're just going to be barefaced, but I think we need to root our self-esteem in Jesus Christ. Our self-esteem must be founded on the word of God. People who are considering stepping away um, from using makeup like all the time, you know, being like addicted to makeup. One thing that's helped me is actually investigating um, on products that I can use that can work on my skin issues. So I struggle with hyperpigmentation and I've taken time to actually follow some pages on social media that speak on products to use like, you know, cleansers, um, oils, exfoliators, and all these things. And I thank God that I feel like now I know what works and what doesn't work. So that could be something you could try just to investigate on what products you can 
use to make yourself comfortable and I've also started taking like my vitamins I mean I take my vitamins daily and that's really helped to work on my skin and I've also dedicated a lot of time to drinking water like at least drinking three liters of water a day and that's worked on my skin another thing that's really helped me is just praying prayer works guys when you tell God your insecurities when you tell God what you're feeling inside because sometimes a lot of things that we're feeling inside are shown outside so we can seek validation and things that do not matter I'm just going to share a few scriptures that really helped me um sort of repent and look at what I was getting wrong in my walk with Christ in regards to idolatry makeup was my idol and John 5 verse 21 it says little children keep yourselves from idols I'm going to share a little prayer that I hope is going to touch someone's heart and I believe in the power of prayer. I believe strongly in the power of prayer and I don't take it for granted. So I'm just going to pray for you. Father God, in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I thank you for this evening. I thank you for this time that I have to come on this platform. I thank you, Lord, for allowing me to shoot this video it's not by my might nor my power but by your grace i thank you lord for giving me the boldness to step out and record this video oh father lord i'm just praying for that one who is watching i'm praying for anyone who's watching this video who struggles with a low self-esteem i'm praying for any teenager or any young girl who's transitioning from her teen years into adulthood oh god i'm praying oh lord that their self-esteem may be rooted in you jesus christ i pray oh god that they may focus on you oh god i pray oh god that you heal their inner wounds oh god i pray oh god that you answer the desires of their heart oh god help them oh lord not to conform to the patterns of this world oh jehovah but may the holy spirit transform them oh god by renewing their mind oh jehovah lord i just pray Oh God, that you comfort all those who are in pain. Comfort all those who are struggling right now, oh Lord. I pray, oh Lord, that you may reveal to each and every one of us what idols we have in our life, that we might repent, oh God, and seek your face, oh Father. I'm praying, oh God, that you continuously bring us, oh God, unto repentance for the salvation of our souls. I pray that this video may have an impact and touch every single person's heart, oh God. May you work on us and create within us clean spirits. May you help us, oh God, to accept who we are. In the mighty name of our Lord, personal savior jesus christ i pray amen it's felt led to just say you are beautiful the way you are do not let society pressurize you you don't have to wear a mask appreciate the skin that you have appreciate how you look appreciate how you were created we are all different but i believe that in our differences we are all perfect to someone. This video was helpful and I'm going to link some YouTube channels that I follow on YouTube that have helped me in my walk with God, that have helped me to understand the meaning of inner beauty, the meaning of not just adorning myself externally, but actually working on my heart and repenting and seeking to have a gentle and meek spirit. If you're new here, please like or subscribe. You're welcome to this space and I Thank you for watching this video. Take care, guys. Bye.